here I am with my friend Naven. We're Yo. gonna do a quick review on. Well, we'll see how quick this review is. But we're gonna do a review on The Revenant. I have noticed that a lot of movies that are nominated for the Oscars are boring or extremely <laughs> boring. So. This one looked pretty decent from the trailers, so I decided to give it a whirl, and here's our review of it. Let me give you a quick synopsis of it. Leonardo DiCaprio is what? He's a scout for this... Uh, is, I had never got that... Is, is it part he's of like the military? A, he's like a scout for the... He was in the military or is in the military? I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so he's a scout. He has a Native American son, Indian, whatever. And basically, he's a scout. They get attacked by Indians. Oh, well. Native Americans. Native Americans, excuse me. Also, uh, if the thumbnail didn't give it away, full on spoilers. If you have any, you know, we're trying to avoid spoilers. Actually, shame on you by now because you should have seen the movie by now. The movie's been out for a while. But either way, the thumbnail says spoilers, so screw you. So screw you, exactly. Screw you, all of the spoilers. So basically, Native Americans attack their camp. Uh, they've been hunting and collecting a lot of pelt, and there's a bunch of pissed off Native Americans trying to recapture their land, so on and so forth. All... That's, they weren't trying to recapture their land. They're looking for the guy's daughter. That oh, two that... white guys came and stole their daughter. Yeah, they didn't repeat it like seven times. My bad. <laughs> so either way. did you watch? Uh, I, apparently, not enough of this one. All right. First. And foremost, this movie is long. So you have to kind of prepare yourself for that. You have to be in a mood. You really for do it. need to be in a mood. Because this is, you know, the more oscar a movie gets, the more, like, silence is in it. So you have to be prepared for, like, long moments of no actors talking and just, like, walking around looking at scenery. Yeah, what I would like to call hardcore acting. <laughs> That the, is, yes, they are yes. acting the shit out of things. But those facial features are just amazing. Yeah, so, and the scenery was amazing, and which it was. And another thing that I noticed was um, this is the same director that did Birdman. I don't know if uh, you guys have seen Birdman, but basically the whole movie was shot in what it looked like one continuous take. There are a lot of parts where it looks like it's one long continuous take, especially the action scenes. The camera pans a lot and uh, you can't really tell where the editing, where the shots were edited, which I think is very, very cool because there's a lot of things going on. It gives you that kind of first person, like you're actually looking... Like you were actually there, kind of view. Right, right. So, like we said before, there were there's a lot of hardcore acting. So there's not much uh, of actual going on. I mean, you could interpret it any way you want, but when it does get down to the action, the action is extremely brutal. The first thing that pops into my head is the bear scene, which is in the trailer, uh, which I think you you should have seen by now. That shit was hardcore. I mean, I, I didn't really think it was... It wasn't like watching a Saw movie. No, it definitely <laughs> wasn't, but it seemed more realistic to me because of what you don't see. You The, the sound was really good, so you can hear a lot of like shit tearing. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was more realistic. And same thing goes for the last fight at the end with Tom Hardy. That Yeah, that was realistic. That I was agree. realistic. There was I no agree. fluff to that. It didn't seem like it was choreographed. It seemed like... How two people would actually get down if, you know... Yeah, there were no, like, kung fu moves or, no, like... No, there was nothing fancy about that. back heel kicks and... <laughs> no, no, there was just shit being stabbed and was, chopped off. If Yeah, if you were legitimately in a fight and you really wanted to stab somebody, yeah. there were no, like, fancy, like, you know, sword play. There was no fencing. It was just, like, I'm gonna stab you in your face. Yeah. And you're gonna die. A horrible death. <laughs> so... Much. Um, okay, so now we, we've kind of gone off the track as far as the synopsis. <laughs> but so far, we've got Native Americans <laughs> attack a bunch of uh, white people. Hold on. <laughs> Here's the real synopsis. This guy has a Native American son. Leonardo DiCaprio. And the, what do you call it? There are some, some Indians, Native Americans looking for um, this kidnapped Native American daughter. So they attack Leonardo DiCaprio's crew. And basically, everybody scatters. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio gets mauled by a bear and gets hurt. Well, we'll rewind. Before that, there's also uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is sort of like the scumbag of the group. 
He's a massive, like, he's a douchebag. He just doesn't give a shit about everything. He was... He just wants his money. He just wants money. He stopped caring about stuff. Apparently, he was attacked by Native Americans back in the day, and he was half scalped. You see him wearing a do-rag through most of the movie, and then when he does take it off... At first, I thought he was going bald, and then later on in the movie, they explain that uh, he was... Or he explains that he was half scalped, which seems pretty fucked up, but either way. All right, so they get separated. They scatter. They're trying trying to uh, find their way back home or to the this to fort, the fort yeah. to the fort like I mentioned before Leonardo DiCaprio is a scout and he gets you know he moves ahead and he runs into a bunch of bear cubs and then out of nowhere he gets mauled, by, he mama gets mauled by mama bear so he's pretty much dead he gets found by his crew they do some kind of uh, this what I thought was kind of fakey as far as the first aid that they provide they literally sew his ass up uh, he has like a hole in his neck and shit, and they sew that shit up like that's gonna do anything. What else are we gonna do? Though? I don't know, but apparently this was based on a true story. So, <laughs> well, that's what you gotta do. I mean, there's not like I mean they can't laser it back together. <laughs> well, I know. The, Nineteen whenever. Uh, yeah, eighteen sixty three or some shit is when this takes place. I don't remember. Yeah, that shit too. Yeah, so they sew his ass up. Uh, apparently, I read uh, some backstory on the actual guy. He didn't actually. The, the bear broke his leg, his femur, and in the movie, there's supposedly the, the the medic fixes his leg or sets it. Apparently, that's bullshit. They didn't set it. He set it himself, but he ended up crawling, like, uh, I don't know how many ungodly amount of miles before he got to there the There is fort. a lot of crawling in this movie. Though. Yeah, well, I mean, if your you shit got broken by a... for, like, best crawl. Right, it, that's, and that was, that, that's <laughs> what I was going to get to. Leonardo DiCaprio, if he doesn't win an Oscar for this shit, that, it, it's some bullshit. I don't care what's going on with the con- the controversy about, you know, the whole uh, Oscars being white and that. I mean, I do care, but at the same time, that shouldn't take away from Leonardo DiCaprio winning this fucking Oscar. No, but I don't know if you should... I mean, did he really... I mean, it was a lot of quiet a lot of crawling right a bunch of grunting it was it really a lot of acting well i mean, I mean it's it, not like there was no range of acting it was just him being upset for like two hours in a movie and grunting for like an hour and 90 minutes yeah but i still think that he, he deserves uh an oscar for that i i don't know i i, don't know. I, I well agree to disagree but i think that the he definitely this this was a a good movie and it's definitely worth watching yeah so in my opinion go out and watch it if it's still in the theaters if not try to get a hold of it in some way you can watch it it's definitely worth it uh i'm gonna disagree okay i'm gonna say you could probably wait till it's on hbo it's like it's like most oscar movies you don't really want it you don't really need to see it i mean you gotta be in a mood and yeah. then it's like two and a half hours of your life that this is going to take <laughs> up so and it's a lot of quiet yeah um professional acting it's Excuse hardcore me. acting hardcore acting i apologize so yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things so i would wait till it comes on the hbo's yeah. or whatnot yeah. i mean there was somewhat like imitation game with Benedict cumberbatch that was an oscar movie but that was actually good there was action i don't think i saw that one long periods of silence is that the, that's the one that's a world war ii one yeah where yeah he's alan turing and he figures out oh yeah 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 yeah. no i gotta watch that one but i still think that you know it's come time for, <laughs> for leo to win that fucking oscar uh, i'm just saying i mean do you really want hey he hasn't won one yet. Let's just give him one. Well, no, but uh, I mean, that's like saying, oh, he was fucking in Dumb and Dumber and they're going to fucking nominate him for Dumb and Dumber and shit. Well, well, I mean, th- I, the movie, I think he did re- a really good job in this. You can be in good movies and not win because well, other that's people tr- were well, better on the year. It's just, it well, happens. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. But so we're, you should see it. That's the consensus. But when you see it, it's totally up to you. Uh, that's where we differ on a, in opinion. Mm-hmm. You've got one go to the theater and the right decision, which is to watch <laughs> it at home on HBO. Yeah, it's definitely cheaper that way too. So either way, thanks everybody for watching. And if you want to see more reviews, comment below. And if there's any movies that you want to suggest, let us know that as well. And on that note, we're out of here. <laughs>